Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful frosty flowers snow queen earrings that are a match to the bracelet that I showed you in one of my previous tutorials. By the way, you could see the link to the bracelet here at the eye icon. If you're new here, consider subscribing because if you do and hit the bell button, you will receive my new tutorials and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. If you're not new here, you could skip this intro, but I have just a few words to say. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations and share them on my community tab on YouTube. You could also become a member of this channel and get some beautiful perks around here and uh, you could click on the button at the corner or you could click on the join button down there next to the subscribe. And you could check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. You don't know how much of a support this is. And now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 ounce seed beads or you could use 10 ounce seed beads if you want. I use blue, silver and white. And here I'm using only two 8 ounce beads. I use them to attach my earring findings and my jump rings to my work because they have wider holes and I also use pliers to do this. Here I'm using these teardrop crystals. You could put pearls or other beautiful beads instead of these teardrops or you could skip them if you don't have them. Okay and this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters you could put other beading thread of your choice this is size 10 beading needle scissors and as i mentioned pliers and now i'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back okay guys and now i'm going to start my work by picking up six of these beautiful blue beads Okay, and I have my six on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. If you have done the bracelet, this will be really easy for you. Okay, and now I have these guys and I'm going to make a knot here. First, I make a loop, then I go twice through the loop I've made and then I pull. And then I will make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. And when I pull, I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. Okay, and now I will go through some beads in this direction. Okay, and I have this beautiful circle of beads here. And now I'm going to start my next row, which will be silver. And I'm taking two silver beads. And as I'm exiting here from this blue bead, you see this one here, I'm going back through the same blue bead. You see what I have. And I pull gently. Now I have a loop between these two silver beads and this blue bead here. Then I go in the next blue bead. I take two silvers. And I go back in circle through this blue and I also go through the following blue. And then I pull. Okay, and now I saved one step because I went through two blue beads backwards. Okay, I have two silvers and I go through this blue bead backwards and through the following. In this way, I save time. And I'm here where I'm in a position to add my next two blue beads. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay. 
Okay guys, and now I'm here where I added my last three silver beads. And what I want to do next is go through the following silver here, just like this. Okay. And as I'm exiting here through this silver, I'm going to take a white bead and I'm going in the next two silvers, just like this. Okay. Take another white and go in the next two silvers. Another white and go through the next two silvers. Okay, and I'm going to continue this row the same way. Okay, and now when I finish it, I'm going in one of those white beads that I just added. And what I want to do next is add seven white beads. Okay, and I have my seven here. And as I'm exiting through this white bead, I'm going through the other white. Then I'm going to pick up again seven. Okay, seven. And I'm going in the next white. Okay, guys, and I'm going to continue this four more times, connecting the whites with seven whites, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last seven beads from this row. You see where I add them at the first bead where I started the whole work from. And I have this. And now what I want to do is go through three seed beads in this direction after the angle bead that I've just been through the inner angle bead. Okay, and now here I will skip the next bead that's on my way and I'll go through two beads. In this way I'm skipping the middle of those seven that I added in the previous row. I'm skipping it and when I pull I form an angle here. Okay. Then I'm going to take a silver bead I skip here. I go not through the angle, not through the one after that, but through the second one after the inner angle. And I pull. Okay. Then I go through one more bit in this direction. And I skip the following that's on my way and go through the next two bits. And when I go through the next two beads and pull, I have an angle and I'm in the same place where I could add the silver bead, one bead away from the inner angle. I'm taking the, the silver bead and here I am one bead away from the inner angle and I'm going through two whites and pull. Then I skip the one that's at the angle like this and I go through the following two and I pull. Okay. Then I take just one and I go through the following two here like this. Skip the angle and go through the next two and pull. 
and I will continue these guys making here an angle and connecting those two beads with a silver okay I will continue this and I'll be back and here I am guys at my last step you see I'm one beat away from the angle and I'm going here one beat away from the angle and through two beats in this direction and now here I'm at the outer angle that I formed this row and I'm going to pick up three blue beads okay and I go back like this then what I want to do is exit through this silver bead And I'm going to take silver, blue, and silver. Okay, and I go back through this silver here. And if you can, in one movement, go through the following two white beads. Okay, you see, I have here a loop between this silver and this tree. And when I pull, I have this beautiful, like a cross of four. Okay, then what i do is that i go through the following white and i'm going to repeat this i take three blue beads go back like this at the angle and go through the following two whites and if you can even through this silver here guys and I take a silver, a blue, and a silver and I go back just like this okay guys and I'm going to continue this until the end here I add three blue beads and here at the silver I add silver blue silver I will continue this if you forgot how I'm doing it just rewind these two steps and repeat them until the end and I'll meet you here okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last silver blue silver beads And now in my next step, I'm going here through this white at the angle. Then I go through this blue bead here. Through this one, you see. And I'm going to take five beads. Okay, and I have my five here. And as I'm exiting through this blue, I'm going back I'm going through this one, skipping the top. Then through the white here at the angle and through the next white. Okay. And then I go through this silver. Here where the silver is, I'm going to add five silvers. Okay, five. Skip the blue and go through the following silver. And if you can, go also through the white after that. So when I pull, I have this. Now I'm going through the next white, which is the angle white. Then I go through the blue and I'm going to take five white beads. Okay, five. And as I'm exiting through this blue, I'm going back through this blue here. Skipping the top and going through the next blue. Then like this, through the white then through the following white and then through the silver and here at the silver 
you should add five silvers. Okay, five. As you exit here, skip the blue and go through this silver. And if you want to save time, also through the white after that. Now go like this through the white. Then here through the blue. And continue doing what I showed you in these two steps. White, go here backwards, silver, like this, white, go here backwards, silver. If you forgot how I'm doing it, rewind this video and repeat these two steps here, here and here and I'll meet you. Okay, and I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last five silver beads. And what I want to do is the same thing, go in this direction through these white beads. And now I'm going through all of those white beads. And I want to exit through this white that is sticking out the most. Okay, here is where I exit. Now, what I'm going to do is take four silver beads. Okay, I have my four silvers here and I'm going to slide those down. Then take your teardrop crystal if you're adding it or take a pearl or bead that you like. Go through it like this. It could be round bead, it doesn't matter. It could be a crystal, different shape crystal. Okay, and I take three beads slide those down like this then skip those three and go through the crystal and through the following three beads after the crystal you see skipping these three not going through them going through the whole of the crystal and through the next three and pull then take just one silver and go through this white just like this and then guys my crystal is attached you could go one more time reinforcing this step but I prefer not to do this because I want this crystal to dangle and now what I want to do is go here at the opposite side and attach my earring finding I will go through all of those beads in this direction Okay, and I'm here at the top and what I want to take is one silver bead, one eto and one silver bead. Okay, I have these three beads here and as I'm exiting through this white at, at the top, I'm going back in circle through these beads, just like this. Then I want to reinforce this joint here. And after I reinforce it, I will go through some beads in this direction. And I want to make a knot and cut my thread. And how I do this here at this angle, I make a loop. You see a loop. And I go once, then I go second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two bits where I started the knot from and I pull. And by the way, you could repeat this knot several times 
Then when you're ready, go through the following seed beads and cut your thread. Never cut next to a knot, always go through the next one or two beads and then cut or remove the thread with a zipper. Okay, and now guys, I want to attach my earring finding. And how I do this, I take this jump ring. I open this one up. And I put it here inside this bead. Okay, then I want to put here this earring finding. And when I squeeze back my earring is ready. Okay guys and now my Frosty Flower Snow Queen earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't because in this way you will receive new videos and you will know how to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself like I did this bracelet matching these earrings and I have a special tutorial uh, for this work. And uh, what else you could do is check description because there I have a full list of materials linked to my store link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. And I also have link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations and share them on my community tab on YouTube. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips and you could also become a member of this channel by clicking on the join button. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.